Have you noticed that we live in a society where we want everything now, and I mean right now? But so many people don't realize the power of delayed gratification, but we're going to talk about it today. everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, today we're talking about delayed gratification, and I wish so many more people understood its power. Because essentially, delayed gratification is deferring something that you want right now for a greater reward later. Let me say that again for the people in the back. Delayed gratification is basically deferring something that you want right now for a greater reward later. Now, before we even get into it, I need for you to put in the comment section, tell me about a scenario where you had to engage in delayed gratification because it was going to yield you better results later on. I want to know. I personally experienced the fruit of delayed gratification just this past week. So if you are on and watching this video, you are on my YouTube channel. Y'all don't know this, but I really decided to take YouTube serious at the end of 2022. I literally told God, okay, okay, bruh. <laughs> I am going to at least upload one video per week so I can potentially get monetized. At that time, I had under like 400 subscribers. I was posting whatever I felt like posting. I really didn't care about YouTube. I was really focused on TikTok and Instagram and my other platforms that have more followers. And so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna make this commitment. And I literally heard God say, if you put time and energy into YouTube, I will breathe on it. That's all I needed to hear and that's all I needed to know because if you know anything about me, your girl is going to be obedient to what God tells her to do. So for a whole year, from January 2023, for a whole year, not making any money, I did all of the things. I came up with the ideas. I sat down and recorded like I am right now. I did my hair and makeup. I edited the videos personally. I created the thumbnails. I learned SEO. I got a camera. I learned video tags. I learned keywords. I learned all of these things in order to help me become a better YouTuber, essentially. And then almost to the T, y'all, at the beginning of this year, almost to the T, to the day, I got monetized. I went, checked my email, and I'm like, YouTube sent me an email that said, congratulations, you're a part of the YPP, the YouTube Partners Program. And I was like, ah! <laughs> While it takes some people longer times to get monetized on YouTube, and some people blow up in very short times, I know people that have blown up off of their first video on YouTube. That personally wasn't my story, but I have seen significant growth, even though I still only have a very small channel. I have seen so many more subscribers, so many more comments and shares and likes and notification bells and all of those things. This is the power of delayed gratification because now your girl is getting pay for creating content on YouTube. And if you know anything about YouTube, they are the best platform to create on for creators to get paid on. The other platforms, I'm not even going to speak their name. They do not pay creators like they should, but YouTube shares their ad revenue in order for us to get paid. So I didn't want to tell y'all that super duper long story, but I wanted to give you guys a real life example of what delayed gratification looks like because some of y'all feel like if you don't get the money right now, if you don't get the notoriety right now, if people don't know who you are right now, if you don't get the subscribers, or if you don't get the followers on social media right now, then I don't want to do it. And that's the wrong mindset to take when it comes to delayed gratification. If you stick to something and you're consistent long enough, you will see the fruit of your labor. You will see the result. One of my superpowers is being consistent. So I don't know if God poured a little extra sauce when he was making me in the consistency area. But one thing I will do if I say that I'm going to do something, I will do it until I cannot do it anymore or if God tells me otherwise. Let's get into the first thing. The first thing that delayed gratification teaches you, it teaches you discipline. Resisting the temptation for an immediate reward for something that is going to yield you long-term success later on is not the easiest thing to do, but it's a powerful, 
difficult thing to do. And if you have to do this in multiple areas of your life, in school, in education, in business, in YouTube, with your kids, with your partner, if you have to do this in multiple areas, you're essentially building that muscle. You're building that discipline that you need and you're training your mind to say, yo, I understand that there's going to be some times where I get things immediately when I do a thing. And then there's going to be other times where I have to put in time, energy, work, effort, patience to get a thing later on. And that later on could be a week from now. It could be six months from now. It could be years from now. But knowing that if you keep at it, you will get the result. That is a powerful thing to grasp. So it helps you build discipline. And discipline is something that we all need. The second thing that delayed gratification teaches you is long-term success. Like I mentioned before, if you want something quick, immediate, that's not always going to yield you lasting results. There's so many different people that got things quickly, whether that was a career, whether that was a whole bunch of followers, whether that was money, they did it the quick way and they didn't see the fruit of their labor because it got snatched away from them because it got to them so quickly that they didn't build up the character, the resilience, the discipline in order to get to that long-term success. When you do things at a consistent and slower pace, you understand that long-term sustainability is a real valuable asset when it comes to delayed gratification. So to go back to my YouTube example, because I did all of that work and I learned all of the things and the SEO and the keywords and how to edit and how to create thumbnails and how to do all of those things, that wasn't a quick, immediate result. That was something that is going to sustain me long-term because regardless of if I choose to do those things myself or, or if I outsource them out, I still have that value. I still have that skill set just in case I need to do it in the future. So long-term success is going to be helpful on this delayed gratification journey. The third thing in regards to delayed gratification is that it enhances your self-control. Now we talked a little bit about the mind, right? But essentially when you are realizing that you're going to have to press pause on getting something more immediate, it helps regulate your thought processes. It helps regulate your nervous system because you're not operating off of impulse. It helps you to slow the heck down, weigh out the pros and the cons to help you make a decision, which we're going to talk about. But it really puts you in a position where you are having that self-regulation and that self-control that we all need. And trust me, when you have self-control and self-regulation in the delayed gratification aspect, you can apply this to every area of your life when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your physical health, when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to business, entrepreneurship, when it comes to relationships, whether it's romantic or platonic, you're going to understand that self-control <laughs> is very powerful. The fourth thing that delayed gratification teaches us is patience and resilience. Because life is full of so many ups and downs, it's a complete and utter roller coaster. You are always going to get curveballs. Life is going to dish you out some things that may not feel good. And it's going to be up to you on how you respond to those things. So if you're impatient and you're woe is me, I'm just going to lay here and wallow and you don't have that umph, that wherewithal to keep going, you are going to have a very, very hard time when it comes to delayed gratification because patience is the underlying current of delayed gratification. I have to be patient enough to know that I was going to get monetized on YouTube. I have to be patient enough to know that I was going to get a graduate school degree and my master's degree. I had to be patient enough to go through the process because once you understand that patience is a huge part of how you need to regulate yourself. You understand that when adversity comes your way, when things get real hot and heavy and in the thick of things, you know that you can sustain it because you've been practicing these characteristics that's going to yield you good fruit. And the fifth thing that delayed gratification teaches us is improved decision-making skills. We talked about it just a quick second ago, but literally when you are posed with a scenario where it's like, are you going to go right or are you going to go left? You need to figure out if this is going to be a quick situation and I want that immediate reward or is this worth waiting for because I know it is going to sustain me long term. So it helps you with that part of your brain where you have to figure out the pros and the cons, the short term versus the long term. And it helps you to be strategic and forward thinking enough 
to be able to say, okay, this sounds and feels real good. And this is a quick situation that I can literally get some benefits to, but is this going to be lasting? Is it going to be long lasting? Can I use whatever I am going to get six months from now, three years from now, 10 years from now, or is it better just to wait and get the thing later and then it's going to yield me a better result. So whoo, delay gratification is nothing to play with, but I want to give my final thoughts on this because it's a wrap. Now, to be honest with you, I know that delay gratification does not feel good. I've had so many situations where I had to wait, <laughs> wait some more, and wait some more after that, but it taught me how to trust. It taught me patience. It taught me resilience. It taught me discipline. It taught me decision-making. It taught me all of the things that we talked about in this video. And now I have those additional characteristics and traits. I built that muscle so when things come my way in the future, I am easily able to be like, well, no, if I do this, it's not going to work out. But if I do this, this might work out. So I want to encourage you to not be so quick to hop on the latest thing, to not be so quick to hop on the quickest amount of money you can get or the amount of influence or power that you can get and understand that you need to possess something on the inside of you that is going to help you get to the end goal with longer term success. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.